It's a delicate surprise I picked up in Bulgaria. Right. Nice. No, 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 thank you. All right, that will be all. What are you going to do, wait until the sun is over the mizzen mass? Don't you love all those nautical terms? <laughs> you seem very at home here. Well, you know, there is always the fear that yachting and the Aegean with an able-bodied crew will be somehow empty. Melancholy. But it's really quite acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you must be bored to death with my stories about Springfield. No, no, I love a good story. Yeah, but in the midst of all this, the tales of Springfield must seem very pedestrian. I'll be the judge of that. Please. Tell me more about Roger, Mr. Bowman. You keep asking me about our Mr. Thor. Now, of course, he's what we have in common. He's a very interesting man. And he is a new vice president of my company, isn't he? Yeah. But I've been wondering if your interest is uh, professional or personal. Ms. Spaulding. Oh, Alexandra, please. That's fine, Rob. Thank you. Yes, Miss Spaulding. Right. Alexandra. Mm. You know, I've answered all of your questions, and you haven't answered my one. Oh, really? It's obvious my interest in Roger is professional. Obvious? Of course. He's a vice president of my family's business. I have to find out what kind of man he is. Well, you spent a lot of time with him down on that island. You are an expert at finding out what kind of man you're dealing with. Really? I thought I was dealing with a hideously scarred, very wealthy man. It turns out he's quite handsome and has been working for our government. And nobody gets rich in public service, do they? Well, Roger always knew how to take advantage of, of certain situations. Like being vice president of Spalding Enterprises? You don't trust him? Oh, I didn't say that. It's a fine line. But loyal, trustworthy men seldom have the drive, the ruthlessness to be top executive material. And you don't want Roger taking the company out from under you. I need to learn everything I can about how he operates. Now, I have my ideas, of course, but I need to know firsthand. Well, interviewing me is hardly firsthand. No, it's a start. Oh, I think I'll confide in you. Lovely. This morning, I fired off a very preemptory telegram. Put him in his place. Stymied his biggest plans. I'll find out very quickly whether or not he's obedient. You prize obedience. If he lies down and plays dead, he'll be gone in two days. <laughs> if he goes behind my back, he'll be gone in one. <laughs> you don't leave him very much room, do you? Oh, no. I cannot imagine what he could do that would satisfy me. But if he could find a way... Then I'd say Spaulding had a hell of a new vice president. You know, I dealt with Roger, with Roger for years. And I always found it exhausting. But finally, I think he may have met his match. <laughs>